Are you a carousel user thinking of how to improve your sales in the online marketplace? In this video, I'll share with you some tips and tricks on improving your selling skills on carousel and also help you be a better seller. If this topic interests you, let's move on to the video. What's up guys, it's Christopher back here at Honey Money SG. And in this channel, we help people build their financial knowledge, teach money saving hacks, and also lead a fulfilling quality of life. So if these topics interest you, consider subscribing. Okay, the focus of today's video is on Carousel, the online secondhand marketplace. So for people who are not familiar with Carousel, Carousel is actually a Singapore developed online mobile app that helps sellers to sell their pre-loved goods such as secondhand products or even branded new items that they can push out for sale. For international viewers, it is something like eBay and I'm sure there are other kinds of online marketplaces available in your local country. The tips and tricks here that I'm sharing today are more specialized towards Carousel but the skills that you learn are actually applicable across all online marketplaces. So with that, let's move on to how I started my Carousel carousel story. My first account started in 2013 when I was in my first year of university trying to sell off my used textbooks. That was also where carousel started from, university students trying to buy and sell textbooks from their seniors. So over the past 7 years, I've garnered around 170 reviews. That was not a very active account but I started my second account last year in 2020 that's more focused on online sales and I sell mostly electronic items like mobile phones, mobile gadgets and equipment that helps enhance people's technology lives. You can take a look at my carousel profile over here. So in like less than one year, I have garnered about 130 plus reviews. So today I'm going to teach you how the carousel algorithm works and how to make you a better seller than the rest of the competitors. First thing, let's talk about search ranking. The search ranking basically means that your product will be placed at the top of the search results that your user have typed in the search box. So you want to rank as high as possible at the top of the search results. How it works is that the most recent and the most bump post will reach the top of the search result. So if you have just uploaded your product and you type in the search result for the keywords, you probably list at the number one of the page. The second aspect of carousel algorithm is to be displayed on the home page. So how it works is that if you look at the daily pics of your home page, it is very specific to what the user has searched for the previous sessions and what the user is looking for at that point in time. So for example, if I'm looking for a washing machine and I've been searching for a washing machine for the past few sessions, my daily pics will be full of washing machines just like this one. And in order to be featured in the daily pics, you want to be rank, meaning you have the most interactions with your customers in terms of the number of likes and the number of chats that you are engaging with your customers. It simply means that the more engagement you have, the more chats you have and the more likes you get, you are more probably going to be featured in the daily pics of your potential customer. So now that I have explained the carousel algorithm, let's move on to some of the tips and tricks to improve your carousel listing and beating the carousel algorithm. Tip number one, ask your buyer to make an offer. This is the simplest and yet most effective way to get recurring and potential customers. Basically, as a seller, you want to encourage your buyer to click make an offer if they are interested to buy that product and you are ready to deal. One of the reasons is that as a seller, you will take note that you have a pending order to fulfill and you will not forget this customer's order. Secondly, it also locks down the agreed price so that there will not be any price disputes between the seller and the buyer. So from my experience, serious buyers will actually make an offer and they are more likely to be committed to complete the transaction because both parties are able to leave reviews on each other page after making an offer. So with that said, if your buyer has not left an offer, you are not able to leave a review for the buyer. Likewise, the buyer cannot leave a review for your shop as well. And reviews are super important in the online marketplace because it helps to boost your shop's online reputation. If I am an interested buyer and I'm comparing between two shops, I will choose that shop with a higher seller rating because I trust that that shop is more recommended by people. Therefore, asking your buyer to make an offer before going through the transaction is highly important. Number two, delete and release items that have not been updated for a long time. For items that you may not have seen sales for a few months or even a year, 
you may want to delete and release them so that it helps push them up to the search ranking result. This will make sure that potential buyers who may have missed your listing may see it again. But you need to be very careful with this one because you don't want to overdo it. Carousel will suspend your account if you release an item multiple times within a short time frame and you definitely don't want to risk your account being suspended. Now if you have a large quantity to sell or you have recurring transactions of the same item, I would recommend you to buy bums instead, which is my next point. Number 3. Buying bums or bring up my posts. So a bump is a paid service on Carousel that helps to boost your item to the top of the search results. Using online gaming language, this is called pay to win. The price of the bumps differs according to the categories that your product is listed in. So for product categories which are in high demand, the price of the bump is actually higher and for products in less demand, it is actually cheaper. For Carousel bumps, they are actually paid by Carousel coins which you can purchase in the Carousel app. And if you buy a larger quantity of Carousel coins, you actually get a few discount. For myself personally, the most economical option is to use the 3 days bump. So you want to leave some space between your first bump and your next bump so that there is enough space and time to interact with your buyers and it is not too expensive on your wallet as well. My final tip which is tip number 4. Share to Carousel groups and relevant Facebook groups. So in your Carousel app, you will notice this group button over over here and you can actually search for carousel groups which are relevant to your product. For example, if I want to buy an iPhone or the MacBook, I'll go to an Apple users group and in this group, I can actually promote my listing over at this group so that these people who are interested in Apple products will be able to see my listing and if it interests them, then they may have the intention to buy it as well. Sharing your listing to the carousel group is actually free and it does not cost you any carousel coins to do so. The other option is to share it to your Facebook groups. So relevant Facebook groups that have interest in your products or even marketplace groups. So sharing on Facebook can actually increase your exposure and direct traffic to your carousel page because there are definitely more people that use Facebook than carousel. Now one important thing on Facebook group is do not spam your ads in non-relevant Facebook groups or marketplaces because the admin may remove you or suspend you from that group because you're not posting the relevant content. Now wrapping up, to sum up my 4 tips, asking your buyers to make an offer, relisting your items for sale after a long time, buying bums to bring up your listings, and also sharing to carousel groups and Facebook groups. All of them have something in common which is to either boost your search ranking up to the first result or increase interaction between you and your buyer so that it can help to place your product at the daily picks of your buyer's homepage. I'm very sure there are some tips that I have not covered through in this video that can help to boost your carousel algorithm as well. So if you know of any carousel secrets and tips, please list them down in the comment section below. I'll take a look and if I can do a further video on that, I'll do so. And I hope this video has been useful in helping you to improve your carousel listing and maybe learn a new skill or two. So if you felt that you have learned something new today, please like and share this video to your friends and family and consider subscribing to my channel as well so that I can promote more content like this. My name is Christopher, this is Honey Money SG and I'll see you on the next one.